Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. DreamWorks Dragon's Dawn of New Riders, not really that fun. Dragon's Dawn of New Riders is an about 7 hour long action adventure game where you play a scribbler and patch as you set down to take down Ear and free the dragons she's using for her own evil bidding. This game is in no way a bad game, but I just didn't really find myself having much fun. Here you'll explore three main islands, though there are smaller islands to discover and explore, all of which will progressively get more challenging, and by challenging I mean needlessly convoluted. I really enjoyed the first island, exploring in combat, looking for chests for new weapons and crafting materials, battles here and there, getting new elements to explore more areas, and then the game just slowly introduces puzzles that don't feel like puzzles at all. It feels like backtracking busy work switch throwing. It kind of just killed the game for me. It makes the game feel like a drag. I would dread having to go into this game's ruins levels, knowing just how much switch throwing is going to be thrown at me until I reach the end of it to take on a boss, which actually are challenging and fun. And once you defeat a boss and free the dragon, you can call it in for support as you battle through enemies in the game. My biggest issue with this game is actually its lack of fail saves. The final dungeon in this game accidentally broke a puzzle, and the only way to reset is to leave the island and come back. And sadly, doing so resets every single puzzle you've already solved and been through. There's no way to reset an individual room, but maybe if the game was actually for the playthrough, there's a chance I wouldn't have mind replaying. I appreciate the variety Dawn of New Riders offers and its equipment, different elemental attacks and different weapon types for Patch and Scribbler, and I love how this never feels like babysitting one or the other. The active player has to die to get a game over. You can always revive the character you aren't playing as. And it just wasn't fun to run through this game. It's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just kind of there. I give DreamWorks Dragons Dawn of New Riders a 5.5 out of 10. If you played DreamWorks Dragons Dawn of New Riders, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if I'm picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe for new to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at SuperCanGaming. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.